Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel, everyone who's been liking and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you to everybody who's been getting personal readings and especially to those of you who have been getting regular readings. I really appreciate you so, so much. All right, so today's reading is going to be just a general check-in um, for the collective of Twin Flames or Divine Soulmates. It's not specific to the karmic situation. I do those every other weekend. Okay, so just so you guys know that. Also, just one last thing before we get started. <clears throat> I did post a video on Friday, which was like a little extra one, um, mostly for the Divine Feminines because I felt um, guided to do that one just because there have been so many intense energies um, coming in lately. So if you feel like you have been tested, triggered, or challenged on your path, whether it's in relation to your connection here with your masculine or just in your life in general, then that reading might resonate with you, okay? I will add the link to that at the end of this video or in the description box. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started and see. We're going to start with the masculine's energy first. Then we will look at the feminine's energy and the future energies. So let's see what is going on currently with the masculines in the collective. Of course, this is general. It's not going to resonate for all of you. And if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have Deceit, which was actually in reverse. This is the only um, deck that I do read reversals from. Uh, but the way I turned it over, I feel like this was um, a Deceit that has been going on in the past. Or, <clears throat> yeah, a Deceit that has been going on in the past, possibly from the masculine energy towards the feminines okay this is why it was in reverse they're in the process of coming out of that or really acknowledging that okay so i'm actually going to leave it in reverse just as it was let's see what else it feels like it's been an ongoing process with the masculines really um discovering more and more of their truth and of how they have been deceitful either to the to their own self as i said or to their feminines okay or both so let's see what else yeah regret okay so that's definitely it exactly what i was just saying <clears throat> Okay, so we have regret. So this is them really regretting the deceit um, that they know that they have been doing in the past. We also have unawakened and mute. So what I'm getting with this is that, yeah, they were unawakened. Okay, they were unawakened while they were doing um, whatever it is that they were doing that was being deceitful, whether it was um, having a third party or a karmic partner or cheating or just not treating you in the way that you would deserve to be treated. Just doing anything that might be deceitful. And I feel like this is what is coming into their awareness, okay? And that they are in that process. They're still awakening, okay? Um, it's, it's a difficult line to find. When is it that someone is awake? Okay, it's, it is an ongoing process. And we also have mute. So I'm getting that for a lot of you, you're either in no contact or if you are in contact, maybe that contact has been, um, maybe it has decreased in some way or you feel that there has been some type of a withdrawal from the contact or maybe the masculine is being a little bit less expressive, okay, recently. So let's get into the details and see what is going on here. Okay. What is going on? 
Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay. All right, yeah, so right now, again with the Ace of Swords being in reverse here, I'm getting that they... I feel like they're facing their truth, but in a gradual way. However, what they're realizing here is that, yes, they have not been living in truth. Okay, they have not been living in the way that they want to because they're seeing this Four of Pentacles here. They're, they, they're still holding on to, to their Divine Feminine. They haven't let go. So maybe in the past, right, what was untrue to them or inauthentic was trying to release the Feminine when in fact they're still holding on. And I feel like this process, this process of holding on to the feminine and coming to terms with that is gradually getting less painful for them with the Three of Swords. I do feel that they are, though, still in a lot of pain, but I feel like the reason why it's in reverse here is because they are able to really start taking control of that. So let's see. Let's see, what else? It actually feels like they're healing. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, we have Justice, and then we also have the Tower and the Knight of Wands in reverse together. Okay, so here's what they're thinking. As I've been saying, it's like they are coming out of this confusion. I am really not getting this as denial. I'm seeing this as healing. the fact that they have not been honest in the past, really coming to terms with that and having to forgive themselves, okay? Because they are regretting this. And the reason why is because, like I said, they can't, they're having a hard time releasing the feminine. They've tried and it didn't work. And so here, with the Seven of Cups being in reverse, they're coming out of that confusion. They're coming out of um, thinking that, you know, Maybe I feel this way, maybe I don't. Um, denial, all of that. Okay, they're having a bit of clarity here of what is it that is right to them. And what they're seeing is that holding on to the feminine with the four of pentacles and then justice being right under it. That is their truth. This is what they want. They, they're realizing that the right decision here is to follow their heart and what it is that they've been holding on to all this time trying to release it for the wrong reasons, okay? However, because we do have the tower, and this is why I'm saying that there's still, you know, this is a process. They're still going through all of this. They are still processing various um, different, I feel, um, events in their lives that have caused them a lot of pain. They're still processing that, okay? Because we have the tower right under the Three of Swords in reverse. So, and the tower is up right here. So they are going through some heavy energy here and I do feel that this tower is a realization of this deceit that they have been living in the past kind of like you know this ace of swords in reverse that they've been living a lie basically they have not been living true to themselves in their authentic self and so this is why they're having this tower now realizing that in order to change that but because they're still in that tower this is why they're still not coming forward in a way that's very um, physical in the 3D towards their feminines, okay, with the Knight of Wands being in reverse here. It's, it's the fact that they're going through this and still processing this and really undergoing some very challenging times here with these realizations and this regret that's keeping them from moving forward at the moment. But we are going to see what is coming up, okay? So let's just get one more row here. Let's see. Let's see how they're feeling or just any messages that want to come through. I feel like this tower is really going is helping them to awaken even more. Uh, what I'm what's actually coming through right now is that they are awakening to the fact that they have been sleeping, so to say, um, in the past. The 
Page of Swords in reverse. So yeah, they are really in their headspace right now. Really overanalyzing things, thinking about things. The Hanging Man and the Six of Swords in reverse. So here's the thing. Yeah, right, like I said, they're not moving, they're not in the process of moving, well, they are in the process, but they're not taking that physical step towards you right now. You can't see that because they are still waiting here. And the reason why they're still waiting um, is because they're too much in their headspace, okay, at the current time. Um, just really thinking about things. It's not necessarily a bad thing because the reason why they are so much in their headspace at the moment is because they really need to process this deceit that has been going on for so long in the past. And now they're regretting that. So they need to process that. And this is why they're still in this um, hanged man energy here. But we have the Six of Swords in reverse. They're not moving away from you. It's not that they're moving away from you. Like I said, we have the Four of Pentacles. They're still here. They're holding on to this connection, just undergoing this tower moment. Okay. So before we get any more details, let's just kind of compare with what is going on with the feminines. <clears throat> And then we will get into what is coming up. Okay. All right, well, broken heart. So although I do feel that the um, feminines are generally on their right path as well as i said um, in the beginning of this video i feel like there have been a lot of triggers um, just some challenges maybe it's just in your thoughts maybe it's events that are happening um and yeah you're feeling the pain of this and you know you may have gone through phases you might be detaching you might be walking away but that doesn't mean that you don't feel like your heart is broken especially if you're thinking that you know this isn't going to um, come together Okay, and we have stuck and we have awakening. Okay, so this is a lot of mirroring going on here. Because as I said, this unawakened card here um, reflects the past. This is what the masculines are regretting. They're regretting the fact that they were unawakened in the past to the deceit that they were causing. Now for the feminines, we have stuck and awakening. You, yeah, you're feeling the pain, right, of this connection, even if you are detaching. But you are awakening to the fact that, you know, there's still that part of you or there has been that part of you that may have been a little bit um, stuck. And that's okay. You know, sometimes, sometimes we can overthink things too and think we're more stuck than we really are. But you are awakening to that and to, you know, in which ways have you kept yourself back in the past. And that is a, okay. The whole point is awakening to that because that's going to help you to get unstuck when you realize your, your stuckness um, and that doesn't mean that you are completely stuck no it just means that there may have been little bits and parts um, or aspects of you that were still stuck in a way because of this connection but you are awakening to that now to whatever those little bits and pieces that were remaining what was that and so now you can move forward from that so let's so it actually feels like you're having revelations too so it is a lot of mirroring here the masculines are awakening to their deceit and to having been unawake and the feminines are awakening to what aspects of themselves were still being stuck even though they were detaching and trying to move forward and that doesn't mean you have not been moving forward you definitely have okay we've seen that time and time again in these readings that you have okay so let's see what is going on with my dear pennies here are trying to come out but they're not
Okay, we have the Empress in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Star in reverse. Okay, yeah, so I do feel like, again, this is similar to um, the reading that I did on Friday. I feel like there have been certain things um, happening in your life that have made you feel like, you know, maybe you're not as far ahead as you thought you were. Maybe you're not as detached as you thought you were. Maybe you haven't um, really, you know, stepped into your power as much as you thought you had. Now, I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think that these are just um, the tests because I see this Eight of Pentacles that here saying that no, you have been working, you have been doing your work, you have been moving forward. Everything you've been doing, right, has been adding on to your forward movement. But because you're feeling this way about yourself, that's causing you to lose hope here with the star being in reverse. So let's see what else. So again, I feel like this is just part of the challenge, part of um, part of the test. It's like you're being triggered, you know? And the whole point here is to not lose faith. Don't lose that faith. Don't lose that hope for yourself, okay? Not, I'm not talking about the connection now. I'm talking about you. Don't lose faith in yourself for what you have been working towards. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Pentacles, and the Hanging Man in reverse. You know what I feel like this is? I feel like there are either fluctuations or you're feeling like um, a little bit of a catch-22 here where it's like on the one hand you want to release the connection with the masculine and move forward leave it behind you as if you know this is never going to come together and so that you can be okay with yourself um, even alone and find that abundance within yourself independently of this connection and so you're trying to leave that behind but then you're also, on the other hand, thinking that, yeah, but I'm supposed to also keep the faith. How do I manifest something if I keep thinking it's not going to happen? But if I keep wishing for it and thinking that it is going to happen, well, then how am I supposed to detach? So catch 22. Um, that's what I'm getting here with the Seven of Pentacles. Like not putting in that effort to detach because you think that you should have hope for this connection to manifest here as the king of pentacles and then here you are hanging man in reverse catch 22 that's how it's coming this message is coming across um and yeah you know that's a very valid um <laughs> thought to have it is and i feel like it's really just all about um finding that balance between the two energies that yeah you know I can still become abundant within myself and feel that union and that love within myself, even if I feel like this might never happen, but at the same time, still believing that it will. It is a very, it's very difficult. It is, um, it's a little tricky. Okay, but there's like that fine line where there's a balance between those two energies which, which seem to be contradictory. And I feel like um, <clears throat> not focusing on that contradiction too much is what's actually going to help you. Focusing on that contradiction is what's going to keep you feeling like this hanging man. Okay, but you can come out of that. And you are, again, you're still in that process of awakening. I mean, awakening, it's hard to say when are you fully awake, you know? Okay, so I feel like, yeah. I feel like it's time to move on to the future energies. I don't really feel like there's anything to really clarify here. But we'll see. Let's get the future energies and then see if we want to clarify anything. So 
so let's see what is coming up for the masculines because they are holding on to you that's for sure they're not they're not walking away here at least energetically all right so let's see what is coming up in the near future so that would be the next couple of weeks a week or two for the masculines we have the two of swords the ace of cups in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse so again what i just said they're not walking away okay they're not walking away however i do feel that they're still going to be um, in the energy of this tower within the next week or so um, but just really really thinking about this really thinking about the fact that you know what they've been doing and what has happened in the past um, was really a, re a reflection of them not ha having self-love okay because it, it all comes down to that with this ace of cups um, being in reverse this is what they're going to be really um i feel contemplating on what is it that is best for them what is it that would re represent or reflect self-love for themselves what is it that they want and really this because they're realizing that that has to do with the divine feminine they're not going to be able to um walk away from you so if you feel like they are Okay, this is, this is saying that they're not. They're not walking away. They may have pulled back emotionally um, or in an expressive type of a way with that mute card, but they're not leaving this connection. Let's get three more. Okay. Let's get a little more specific here. Okay, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and we have the Empress. Okay. So here you are, showing up as the Empress in their future energy. This is how they're going to be seeing you, and this is how they're, they are going to be feeling about you. I feel that you just keep um, elevating in their view of you like you, you they have you high up on a pedestal they're seeing you as this end goal that they need to get to but again with this four of swords and the queen of swords they're still in this process they're still in this process of healing okay they're healing what is going on right now which is something that is very very challenging for them okay really having to process the fact that as i said they've been living a lie they have not been living authentically. And I feel that that is what is being um, being processed. And so I am getting also a little bit of restlessness here with the Four of Swords. So it, they are still going to be restless about this because they feel like um, something just hasn't been, um, justice hasn't been served yet. They're gonna feel like, okay, it's not right. I need to make it right. Therefore, they're going to be restless, healing at the same time and seeing you as this empress and i feel like yeah you know with also with the queen of swords they're seeing you as you know being this empress and you're like out of their reach here they're seeing you as just being so um high up there and they are feeling this regret concerning themselves and working on their self-love and in order to be able to reach you i feel like with this queen of swords in reverse also they're seeing you as unapproachable in a sense okay because of the way that they're feeling about themselves in this regret i do see them though coming out of that okay this is just what they're going through right now and what is coming up but this is pushing them to them towards you ultimately okay let's see if there's any messages for the femmies here You have 
have the Four of Swords in reverse too. So more mirroring. Wow, I feel like you're going to be restless as well. Um, so the message here is for you to also focus on your own healing and releasing this burden. And I feel like this burden is what we were talking about um, before, right? Just this, this feeling of a catch-22, like how do I release... Um, how do I release this but still have hope for it? Like, how do you do both at the same time? Okay, and then we have... <laughs> this is crazy. We have the, the Emperor here for you at the end. We had the Empress, right, as their last card. And then we have the Emperor as your last card. So if this isn't marrying, then I don't know what is. And both of these energies here, starting off with the... Um, Four of Swords in reverse. So here you are as a divine couple. And I feel like both of your, you know, energies and your alignment is bringing you together. Like they're moving towards their empress, you're moving towards towards your emperor, whether you realize it or not. But it's really about them being able to forgive themselves and to really process this deceit um, from their side from the past and for you, you know, just releasing whatever these burdens are um, that may have been keeping you stuck and um, feeling this brokenheartedness, which is completely natural, okay? But just continuing on in your awakening journey and letting all of this just kind of play out behind the scenes on its own, okay? It is bringing the two of you together here. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like those were the messages. Um, so let me just get a couple of oracle cards to see the final messages to close out the reading. And if this resonated for you, please do give me a like. And if you want, you can leave me a comment to let me know. I know it seems a little bit um, kind of on the heavy side, but it is it is moving along. Okay, guys, I promise. I just, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat coat things. This is just what's going on with them um, currently and what they're moving in in the next couple of weeks. All right, so let's see. Okay, we have... Clean it up. We have not for you. Uh, I do want to get one more. And I will explain. Ooh, okay, well we got two more. Okay, so... The masculines are really cleaning it up, okay? 